Um, possibly our January vlog because the to be read list is a great idea to start the new year's. Uh, so we're actually going to do our top three to be read. As you can see behind me, I have many books. Most of them are to be read. So choosing three is a little difficult, but I, with Amador's help and some others, I think I've got it. Um, so I'll get started with my first book. My first book is The Golem and the Genie. Um, I actually started reading this. I don't remember how far I got. I think I got into chapter one. And then uh, because I'm a student, life just took over and it got put to the wayside and I just did not get back into it. But Emidor has just finished reading it and she says I have to read it. Um, I'm actually very, very keen to read it. I just haven't had the time. So hopefully I'll find the time in the year to read it. And what's your top choice, Emidor? Well, my first one is actually a reread, but I'm rereading it because it's now a trilogy. Um, Darker Shade of Magic. I've read it before, but I need to reread it again because I'm going to read the second and third books that I haven't read yet. So I am very excited for that one. What is your next book? <laughs> My next book is... What number is this? I think it's the fourth. Mississippi Jack, fifth? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mississippi Jack of the Bloody Jack series. Um, I absolutely adore Bloody Jack. I just haven't finished the series because I'm really nervous to get to the ending because it's very emotional. It <laughs> All is the books so are emotional. emotional. And if I can't keep myself together for the first four, how am I going to get to the end? Especially the title of the last book just, like, terrifies me. Uh, Emidor has read them all. That's because I got her started into it. Mm -hmm. I've been reading these since high school, which was ten years ago, so it's definitely taken me a long time to get through the series. I'm just really nervous to get through the series, but this year I'm going to make a very good effort to attempt it. <laughs> and Emidor can bug me about that. <laughs> I am going to bug you because it's so good! You just have to push through it. Alright, my <laughs> next one is The Ice Cream Queen of Orchard Street. Um, I've had this one for a long time, I just haven't read it. Um, but I've, it's come up on a lot of like book club lists and good books to read and it's about this girl who is an immigrant in like the 1910s and she falls in with this ice cream vendor and then they sell ice cream across America and it spans like 70 years and it looks good so I'm excited to read it. I actually own that one too. Have you read it though? No. <laughs> of course not. I'm more of a book buyer than a book reader at this point. <laughs> um, and my last book is another one that I've actually started, and I think I got maybe a quarter or a third through, possibly halfway through, and it is called The Woodcutter. Mm -hmm. um, I can't recall the reason I stopped. I think it was a mix of I was scared <laughs> and school. So I get very emotional when I read books. Like, I haven't finished Mrs. Peregrine's Home whatever it's called, because I got a little scared with that one, too. And that's like a child's book. Well, young adult. Um, so I'll just read the back, because it's been a while since I've read this one, but it's very intriguing, and I've always wanted to finish it. I just haven't gotten around to it. So it's, deep within the wood, a young woman lies dead. Not a mark on her body, no trace of her murderer. Only her chipped glass slippers hint at her identity. The woodcutter, cutter, keeper of the peace between the twelve kingdoms of man and the realm of fairy, must find the maiden's killer before others share her fate. Guided by the wind and aided by three charmed axes, one from the river god, the woodcutter begins his hunt, searching for clues in the whispering dominions of the enchanted unknown. But he quickly finds that one murdered maiden is not only nefarious mystery afoot. One of Odin's hellhounds has escaped. A pixie dust drug trade runs rampant and more young girls go missing. Looming in the shadows is a malevolent power, hungry queen, and she will stop at nothing to destroy the Twelve Kingdoms and annihilate, annihilate the royal fae unless the woodcutter can outmaneuver her and save the gentle souls of the wood. So, as you can see, we've got fairy tales, we've got Odin mythology, it's just like a mash of so many things that I really enjoy, along with mystery and murder. Um, but as I said, it got a little tense in the middle, so I haven't finished it, but I really want to give it a try. Um, so yeah, that is on my to-be-read list. 
And my last one is What Lies Beyond the Stars by Michael Gorgian, a former newsie. Um, Yay! <laughs> because when a newsie writes a book, you read it. That is the law of the universe. So um, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I've read the back, and it's, it sounds interesting, but it's kind of like, okay, I, I don't really know what's going on there. But I'm excited to read it. So those are my three. <laughs> All right, so our other Giddy Goats all had reasons why they couldn't join us. We're kind of hoping to get the rest of the Giddy Goats in a vlog all together soon. Um, in the meantime, this was Amador and I's Chibi Red List, the top three for the year 2018. So let us know in the comments below what your Chibi Red List looks like, what's your top one that you're going to start reading this year. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and definitely check out our blog. We do a lot of blog posts on all sorts of different things from games to books music etc so definitely check us out there and subscribe to us on youtube and continue to watch us for more book vlogs